June 1999, and Popular Science published news briefs about an offline email device you could connect to a payphone to send your emails. They had a news story about Nokia's latest mobile phone with the revolutionary features of a calendar, an address book, and an alarm clock. And they had a story about Sony's new signal processing technology to sharpen images on VHS tapes. Sony called it the Reality Regenerator. And can we all just admit that this is easily the greatest name of any feature ever marketed on VCRs? I know this is true because when I saw the Sony SLV789 at the thrift shop and I saw the words Reality Regenerator on the front, I knew I had to own it. In a moment, I'll compare some video clips with the feature turned on and off. But first, some background. The Sony Corporation filed a patent in the U.S. for the Reality Regenerator on September 17, 1998. The earliest reference I could find on Sony's Japanese website was an August 23, 1999 press release announcing the WV, DR5, DR7, and DR9 VCRs, which were SVHS and DV recorders. The cost of the top model was 298,000 yen, which would be about 340,000 yen today in 2025, or about 2,250 US dollars. A few weeks later, on September 9, 1999, this electronic store ad in the Daily News of Bowling Green, Kentucky, makes reference to this feature in the $229 SLV789 model, which would be about $441 in 2025 and considerably more than the about 13 US dollars I paid for it in 2025. Here's the way that reporter Stephen A. Booth wrote about it. He wrote, Reality Regenerator sharpens images on VHS tapes. Recorded VHS images tend to soften, so most VCRs have circuitry to sharpen fuzzy edges. But in doing so, these circuits tend to overshoot the edge of an object and thus add noise to the picture because they employ a single edge detection process. Sony's technology divides the same edge signal into three parts, and then it processes each separately to avoid overshooting. I'm not quite sure what that means about dividing the same image signal into three parts. Here's the way that Sony describes it in their Japanese press release in a section called Sony's Proprietary Image Quality Improvement Circuit R2. During playback, the edge waveform of the video signal is extracted and divided into three time axis zones, and by performing mathematical processing on it, it is reproduced in a state that is as close as possible to the original waveform, suppressing the generation of noise in flat areas and reproducing it clearly. I checked the forums and found this post from February 2006, where user CRAC9 at VideoHelp states that the reality, reality regenerator is a bit like a frame memory. Another user, Jodex, wrote in February 2011 that it's basically a dynamic, unsharp mask. If you have a better explanation of how the reality regenerator works, uh, then please leave a comment. Okay, let's get to this comparison. Here's a video from the Digital Video Essentials DVD. I'll let this test run a bit before revealing which side is the reality regenerator one. So the reality regenerator version is on the left. Now let's look at some video recorded in the EP mode on a tape recorded in the 1980s. And here are some test patterns from that Digital Video Essentials DVD. On the color bar, you can see that the Reality Regenerator version is sharper, but at the expense of making the background sort of more textured. We saw something similar in a test we did with our Sharp VCR and its Sharp Super Picture mode. But what about text? Is the text improved by this Reality Regenerator mode? I don't really see any improvement here. You can definitely see that there's more haloing. It's more pronounced. So I guess if you're just playing back a tape for viewing on a CRT TV 
for a full retro experience, then I guess go ahead and activate the Reality Regenerator. But if you're using this VCR to play back a VHS tape to feed into a capture device, then I don't recommend you use it. The best practice when digitizing VHS tapes is not to use tools like this in the VCR because the experts say it's better to sharpen the video later on using software like Hybrid. Nonetheless, kudos to Sony for coming up with a cool sounding name. In an area where there are some pretty other awesome names like Flying Eraserhead and Laserlink and Nightshot, I do think that Reality Regenerator tops them all. <laughs> 